Hey guys, Radical Reggie, back at you with another video with my buddy Cag. Um, happy you're here, brother. And I gotta discuss the PlayStation 5 Pro with you, man. It's almost here. It's gonna be here in a couple months. And Sony's reveal of the system, man, was really insane to me. And I wanted to kind of get your thoughts uh, uh, on the system, you know, just the, like the announcement and, and a couple more things. But we'll start with the announcement, man. How did you feel about the announcement? Do you think Sony was right in the way they announced that system? Um, I thought it was kind of weird. You know, the the funny thing is anytime Mark Cerny, anytime they say Mark Cerny is going to be doing anything, I'm always like, please don't. He's so technical. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have a really good, like, on-camera presence. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't really get you excited about anything. So, yeah, I didn't really like think that he should have did it. I think they should have used somebody else. Yeah. But outside of that, I mean, it is what it is. It's a pro, right? We saw it last time with the PS4 Pro. We, we kind of expected what was going to happen. Um, the, the hard part about the Pro, PS5 Pro, is showing how much better it's going to look versus the PS5 mm -hmm. through use, right? Bitrate is bad. Everything is all kind of like just doesn't show the big difference. Like you kind of really have to have hands on with it and actually see it or whatever. So they didn't sell people on it by that video because people couldn't tell. You know, you looked at that stuff and it was just like you, something looks a little bit better. It's funny because I, I it's making me recall the picture that's going around with the guy and it shows PS5 and he has two toothpicks in his mouth and then the PS the other picture has three toothpicks in his mouth and that's a PS5 Pro and it makes me laugh because that's kind of what it showed when we saw it, so it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. And, you know, the whole thing with them um, showing games on the system, the games that are, like, years old, like Ratchet and Clank, you know, yeah. they're just showing older games, and they're pretty much saying these are how the games could be played now. People want yeah. new games, you know what I mean? You you should have something new with the system. Then and, and, and if they didn't, shows that, the, honestly, they weren't really ready to put it out because nobody had anything that was going to show what the system could really do, that something was going to be really impressive. And then also... What didn't sell me is you show, and you're right, you're exactly right. You show games that were like five years old almost, some of them a little newer than that. Mm -hmm. With a little bit of time and TLC, you can make those games look just as good as you showed on the PS5 Pro on the PS5. That's already been shown. So, like, if we go back and we look at some of the older systems, and we'll go, we'll use a PS3 because PS3 is probably for me, like, I'm in love with it now because I've gone back and started to play some of the games I haven't had a chance to play and revisit them. So I'm really loving that, that system. But at the end of the PS3 cycle, the games looked significantly better than they did in the beginning of the cycle. You know what I'm saying? And then the PS3, when it was ushered away for the PS4, it still had legs. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I still think it has legs today. There's some games on there, just absolutely phenomenal games. So for them to show those older games is not impressive to me because I think, you know, later on in the cycle, even, you know, a year or two from now, you can pull that same, those same graphical upgrades on the regular PS5, you know, just by fine tuning it, going in and changing some things and just learning to work with the architecture mm -hmm. a little bit better than you did three years ago, you know? So I agree with you. They should have had something new, like to show Call of Duty, the new Call of Duty, because, you know, it's coming out in like a month. So if they would have showed that versus, you know, oh, this is going to be running at 60 frames per second continuously with no drops or whatever, then it would have sold people. It would have sold like hotcakes. You know what I'm saying? People would have been like, oh, I got to have it. But to see like three or four year old games running better, that's not impressive because they could run better on a PS5 with a little bit of TLC. Yeah, and we're already in the, the, the console's uh, mid-life cycle. You know, first generation, you know, so um, it's just pretty crazy. But another thing right now is that we know the system's being sold without a disk drive. So, yes. yeah, uh, $700 increase in price, of course. Uh, two terabyte uh, hard drive, I believe, is going to be in it. So I feel like they yeah. kind of use that, the, the sub for the uh, the missing disk drive. But at the same time, you know, um, people want to have that option of having a disk drive. You know, that's why I feel like it was a missed opportunity to sell it all together. Now, People are, I don't know if this is allegedly happening, but um, they're saying scalpers are scalping up the disk drives 
uh, for the system. You know, have you have you seen that? Have you have you seen that going on? Like all the disc jobs are being bought up. I, I followed a little bit on Twitter and obviously from uh, social media influencers. They're you know talking about it and stuff like that. So I'm seeing it. I mean, not personally. I haven't really been in stores to you know really look at it. But yeah, I do foresee you know scalpers getting ready for the holiday. Holiday is going to come up. They know they're going to be popular. So for them to sell out that fast and the quantity that they're selling out, I do think it's scalpers. I don't think it's people that are going to buy the PS5 Pro. Mm -hmm. I still feel the PS5 Pro is going to be like a niche console because if you look at the PS4 Pro, um, I think it was like out of five, it was like one out of every five purchases was a PS4 Pro. Mm -hmm. And I think it'd be even less when it comes to the PS5 Pro. So I really do think we're going to start seeing those um, those drives on eBay, Macari, and other sites for double, triple the price really soon. I think I say probably the first week of October, going to October, we'll start seeing them at those crazy prices. Okay, so I think, I mean, I, I think that uh, people are just preparing. Like, they, they want to buy the system, so they want to get the drive already. So you're probably seeing a lot of people who might want to buy the system itself. So they're, they're getting ready for that because yeah. they can't stand the idea of having a digital like PlayStation 5 system. Like I just, that, that bothers me right now. Like, oh, like digital only, like get out of here. So it could be a lot of people that are going to buy that. Buy that. And then the thing is, if if it is, if the disc drive is sold out, we know Sony is not going to stop making them. So no. all people just going to, they just got to wait until they make some more because that'd be crazy if Sony say, hey, we're not making any more disc drives. Like, you know, that's it. Then I, I could see like the scalping going crazy and all that stuff. You know what I mean? But at the same time, are these, I mean, these, are these drives that Sony has, like you can't use any other drive on the system, right? I'm, I'm guessing. No. Um, so that drive, if you already have one for your PS5 Slim, mm -hmm. you can register it on the PS5 Pro. Um, so you can't go in back. You just have to go through the registration process. But there are no other drives. It's an internal drive. You take off the side panel. It snaps into the body of the PS5 and you put the side panel back on it. Um, so yes, yeah, specifically for that console. Um, I can I can see it going either way. Um, it's, it's I'm going to be honest with you. It's mind boggling to me. Um, it is such an like a divide on this council and price, right? Mm -hmm. It's a seven hundred dollar council, eighty dollar hard drive or eighty dollar add on drive. So that's putting you at at seven eighty, and then with tax, depending on what state you are, some don't have tax, but. You're paying tax here in Ohio, like 8% is putting you around 842. I just think that's expensive for a marginal upgrade. I don't think it's enough of an upgrade for me to drop $842 and even more if you want to get the stand. So, um, but we'll get into that, I guess, a little later. And I have a lot, of, another opinion on that too, as to why I feel that way. But we'll, we'll get okay. there. So the next thing is, you know, like, I, I guess this article was sent to me, but, um, Sony is going to be selling uh, PS5s, refurbished PS5s, for the price of 350 And I kind of feel like that might be like an, an apology for the Pro, you know, or, or, or I, I don't know. I feel like it is in a way because it's being announced around the same time. But how do you feel about a refurbished uh, PS4, PS4, I mean, excuse me, PS5 system? Uh, I, mean, I, I think it's perfectly fine. Um, it could be Sony trying to save face because they they saw what's going on on the internet and the outcry mm -hmm. of, but it's so mixed so you really can't tell. But I don't know. I mean, would I buy a refurbished PS5? Probably not, because um, you just don't know what was wrong with it previously. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then with the whole liquid metal thing, did they go in and put new liquid metal? Like I just you know I I don't know if you're buying it from Sony I guess you don't have any worries you know what I'm saying you probably yeah, it should be covered over the warranty for yeah you can do whatever so I, I I don't know I mean if you look at it, it I guess it's a good deal I don't know what their reason is behind it is it's, it's <laughs> really funny that they announced that a day or so after they announced the PS5 Pro so yeah it's a little suspicious <laughs> yeah that's what I was thinking too another thing too um. Do you feel like because you, you you you're into Xbox Series X? You, you speak spoke really highly of that system over the years. Oh yeah. Um, but is the PS5 Pro even like is it more powerful than that system, or are they pretty much the same? Like, so yeah, it is going to be more powerful than the Series X for sure. Okay. Um, not like by leaps and bounds. I would you know I can't see that the thing is with the 
PS5 Pro, they didn't really say, and they didn't really put any specs out there, right? Mm -hmm. So you have Digital Digital Foundry saying that the GPU inside of the system is comparable to, I think, a 6800 XT or something like that. So everybody's kind of going off of that, comparing, you know, that GPU inside of the PS5 to anything else. Um, it's hit or miss, man. So you have in the market right now, I mean, use this as an example. You have in the market the Nintendo Switch that is headed towards, what, 115 million systems So They're trying to, they're chasing the PS2. They're trying to pass the PS2, which is the greatest selling console of all time. So, like, you have a certain segment of people that really care about the GPU and graphics, but I don't think that segment is as big as people think it is. You know, they have a big voice because you hear people and then you have a lot of social media influencers that have a huge voice on social media and on Twitter and all that stuff, you know, that make it seem like it's bigger than it is. But if you have over 100 in gaming, you over have over 100 million people playing the Switch, it's 100 million people that just don't care about graphics. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much, you know, that is important when it comes to the Xbox and the PS5 Pro. You're going to have console uh, warriors, you know, people that are standing on the left or the right side of Sony or PlayStation that's going to have the whole console war thing. Oh, this is stronger, this and this. You know, me personally, I don't care about that. As you guys know, I have behind me, you can see the Xbox on the other side is PS5. I have them all. So I play them for different reasons. But it is going to be stronger than the Series X. We know that. Sony had the opportunity to see what was in the market. And then they took what was in the market and they went a step above. You know, and that's kind right. of what Sony does. We know that's what they do. They watch what you do and then they do better. <laughs> and I so. think they, they watched. And the reason they did this was because Microsoft, unfortunately, is kind of like falling out of the, the, the physical media, you know, when it comes to consoles and everything like that. And yeah. Sony took an opportunity to kind of do what they want because if Microsoft was still in it hardcore, you know, and they were going to release like even um an upgrade or whatever like that sony wouldn't just release this disc i mean non-disc digital system they wouldn't even well, have came up with that idea i think i think I, you know a lot of people speculate that because microsoft is taking a different direction in gaming that sony is going to run a foot right and just mm -hmm. do whatever they want i just i don't necessarily think that's the case i think that right now they're trying to get as much money as they can because they've done a lot of things already. They raised the price of their controllers, $5 across the board. The PS5 new has not seen a price drop since it came out. And it's been out for what, four, almost five years or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, hasn't seen a price drop. It's only seen a price increase across the world. You know what I'm saying? So this is a weird generation. This is a weird generation because about this time, Systems going into the holiday will be a hundred to hundred fifty dollars cheaper. Yeah, so a reason to buy them. Yeah, something like that. And we so. haven't seen that across the board for anybody. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty insane. You know, I never, I this console generation. This is the ninth gen we're in, and I haven't seen a real reason for people to want to jump up and buy these systems, especially when they first came out. You know, um, I mean, exclusives are great and all that stuff. Um, but there hasn't been that many exclusives like there were in the past for these yep. games. And I, I guess the reason for that is because production values, like they, these games got to be more high tech, you know, it's like the budgets are higher, uh, development is just longer. And we're just not seeing the flux of games we used to see back in the day to really like one, Hey, I got to get this, this new PlayStation Xbox system, you know, like that. So, but Nintendo has found a way around it doing their own thing. You know, they have, they, they're just making fun games. And I think, <laughs> You know, I know a lot of these companies, Xbox, uh, PlayStation, they, they want to focus on like AAA titles to really show the power of their system. Yeah. But if it's if it's kind of like in a way like costing them where it's not, um, I don't know, it's like I feel like AAA titles kind of ruin it for a lot of like like gamers in a way with the long times you have to wait for the like, games to come out and it's yeah. just they're just not ready. It's just it's really disappointing. I guess I just come from an era where games were like like just coming out like constantly you know you're seeing new games for the system impressive stuff and now that like we're gotten up to this triple a movie title looking games or whatever like that it's just 
It's taking years for these games to come out. Like, you know, I found out this game called Grand Blue Fantasy uh, that me and Joe been playing. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's called Relink. It took them yeah. eight years to develop that game. Almost a decade to make that game. You know, and that's that's a crazy development cycle. It's like, wow, really? Like, yeah. it, it's crazy. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, this is the last thing with the PS5 and the Pro and everything like that. You know, I, I think just... In closing, I want to say that I just think Sony missed the ball with not showing a game that would really, like, impress people with the system. Don't have the the the, the guy who created the system talking about it because uh, right. more people are not going to know what he's talking about. Like, he's knowing all these technical details. Like, we don't care, man. Show us the games. That's what it's always been about. You know, you get, yeah. if you get on a technical level and you get on the level like Digital Foundry and all that stuff, you know, like you could, like that. But it's like, dude, like, just show us the games and, and impress us. That's about it. And um. My, my thing, okay, so I'm, I want to say this, and this is this is what I was talking about earlier in the video because I was going to come back to this. My thing with the PS5 Pro, all right, so I want to put this out here and I want to say this first and foremost. Spend your money however you want is your money. I respect that. But I also want to say as a community, regardless of what side you stand on, Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation, whatever, whatever side you stand on, you know, stand on principle because if Sony is going for $700 for the PS5 Pro. They're setting the precedent of what the next generation is going to look like. So, and you got to keep that in your mind. What are you willing to spend on the next generation for a game, a home game console? So if it's $700, basically $800 for a PS4 Pro or a PS5 Pro, mm -hmm. PS6 is going to be upwards of $800 when it comes out. I just don't see it being any less than that. How do you go back down? How do you say we sold you a PS5 Pro that has a bigger GPU, two terabytes of this, faster of this, uh, AI uh, learning for graphics and all of this stuff. And you bring out a PS6 and you drop the price lower than that. It doesn't make any sense. So all I'm saying is you can spend your money however you want, but as a community, just keep in mind in the back of your head where these prices are going to go. Right. Is right. a console that only plays PlayStation games, which PlayStation games are phenomenal. I love a lot of them. But it only plays PlayStation games worth almost $1,000. I'm not even going to get into the whole PC thing because people have killed that on the internet. And yeah. they, the PC Warrior, Master Race, whatever they want to talk about. But just keep in mind, is this console worth you know, the next gen coming up in two years worth a thousand dollars because that's where we're headed. And it, it at this point, we're going to assume that it only plays PlayStation games. It could be something totally different, but just keep in the back of your mind, you're setting yourself up for a system. They're testing the waters now. You're setting yourself up for a system. And, it, and they've already done it with the increase in price for games, seventy dollars now. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's something to worry about um going forward and also in closing i want to say to all the gamers out there that watch this video or watch other social media influencers do not make your decisions based off of somebody else's pocket because you're going to see thousands of social media influencers buy this council mm -hmm. and they're buying this council and they're spending seven eight hundred dollars because of you viewing their channels and they're getting money but you have to work 40 hours, you know what I'm saying, a week and determine what your 40 hours is worth. Is your 40 hours worth $800 on this PlayStation? Just keep, you know, think of it like that because the people you watch, they got money. They're getting stuff for free. They're getting all type of things. They got disposable income like crazy. So, but what is your value of your dollar? Is it worth it? And I'm not saying don't buy it if you want to get it. Trust me, I'm with you. But just, you know, think about that, man, because we're headed towards a thousand dollars next generation. And can you drop a thousand dollars on the system?